Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel and a new video where I will be making this ice cream cone birthday card where the cone is a gift card holder. I am going to be using this new paper, the Double Scoop Paper Collection. It's delicious. Like, don't lick the paper, okay? <laughs> These patterns are realistic photos of ice cream and sprinkles and sherbet and frosting and cake and like summery beverages. It's so yummy. I'm going to use this piece right here on my card today, but I just want to show you all of them because I can't get enough of them and I thought you would like it too. Like this one of frosting with sprinkles. There's even on the flip side of a couple some just basic rainbowy like patterns. So that's really fun to have too. Some that look like waffle cones and cake cones, they're like so yummy. Look at this one, it's like a, they're like beverages you could use with our new island cocktail die set. Oh, I love it, I love it. I hope that you love it too. Let me know what you think of this paper in the comments below. I'm gonna just use it, I think it's so much fun. I am using it today with the ice cream cone die set. This not only die cuts, but it's going to emboss detail into those die cuts for you, which I think is really cool. You can see that here on my cone, and the cone has an opening, so if you wanted something to like pop up out of there, you could totally do that. It's got the chocolate drizzle and a cherry to go on top which is fabulous. So to bring my ice cream to life, I decided to go with strawberry. I'm gonna like splatter on some paint. So I have a darker pink paint I'm gonna splatter on. Um, lately, I've been eating or, uh, strawberry ice cream. I normally only have chocolate. And I recently discovered strawberry ice cream by Tillamook. It's super good. So I need to venture out from the regular chocolate and, and try some other brands of strawberry because I think it's so good. I'm even splattering a little vintage photo distress ink onto the cone. And there you can see what they look like, all dry and ready to go. And now I'm going to glue the ice cream onto the cone and just trace around that opening and it fits on there perfectly. And then you can just glue on that chocolate drizzle because chocolate drizzle on strawberry ice cream is super yummy. <laughs> it's so good. Yes, I am in my 40s and have just discovered that I love strawberry ice cream. <laughs> All right, so here is my pattern paper cut to four inches by five and a fourth, and I glued it onto my A2 size card, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. And now I'm adding some foam squares to this that is going to kind of hold my gift card in. It's gonna allow it to move back and forth. And of course my gift card is for ice cream. It's for Cold Stone. I hope you have those where you are, where they like scoop all the ice creams and they mix them together on this like cold metal plate thing. I haven't been there in a long time, but I'll tell you, the love of ice cream runs deep in my family. We love it. So these new dyes are my favorite. All right, so now we have a new Simply Sentimental set at Trinity. This is the birthday Simply Sentimental. Gotta have it. It works for all my birthday card needs. It's got different fonts. It's got dies to cut them out. It has dies that will cut out the word for you. It's got sub sentiments to go with it. I'm loving this set so much. So I'm going to use this for my card. I'm going to use a sub sentiment, but actually it's going to go um, before the sentiment. Yeah, it's kind of a sentiment builder set, so to speak. So I am stamping a little something for you, and it's a nice skinny one, and I'm going to stamp it on a bigger piece of paper and then trim it down so I have a nice skinny strip. And I am stamping it with some clear sticky ink, and that is going to allow me to emboss this. So I'm going to stamp it a few times and try not to press down too hard because it's a very small sentiment. I don't want to like press too hard on the letters and then it'll look kind of blurry. So once that powder is sprinkled on, I can melt that with my heat tool and it will be nice and raised up and shiny and look so good on this red cardstock. And then it's time to trim it out. I gave it just a second to dry and then just use my paper cutter with a little bit of temporary adhesive on the back there, which kind of helps it hold in place. 
and then I'm gonna stick that on my card right at the top and then just trim off the end. So it's gonna extend over my pattern paper and I kind of like that look. All right, for the rest of my sentiment, so it's gonna now say a little something for your birthday. You can see these letters are so cool. I can stamp this sentiment also, or you can die cut it. I love the choices with these sets. So I put a little bit of liquid glue onto a piece of backing that used to back foam squares. And then I can just tap my glue into that and it will kind of cover each of these letters. And then I can just stick it down, but sometimes there's still a little glue that like seeps out. So that's where I use my fingers. Yeah, <laughs> they're my best tool. Um, but also, if you get like a lot of glue seepage, a paper towel works really good for picking up that excess, just like that. And then if you have an adhesive eraser, that works really nice too to kind of get that excess off. I'm going to pop this whole thing up. So it's going to touch the cone in the middle. So I didn't need a foam square there and then one on each end. And now it's time to dress it up. So chocolate drizzle is rather shiny. So I'm going to take some glaze that I have in my stash and just coat the entire chocolate drizzle on this ice cream. And then it also works as a glue. So I'm gonna take three different colors of our new clay sprinkles. I have cotton candy, cherry cherry, and marshmallow fluff. And I'm gonna use my pickup tool just to lightly set them down into that glaze. And that glaze is gonna hold them down perfectly. So it's kind of twofold. I've got my shiny glaze, plus it's a glue to hold my sprinkles down. It makes my life easier, right? And now I'm pouring those ones back in with my tidy tray. Have you seen the tidy tray in action? I use it all the time because I love embellishments and it really helps me get the things back in their little baggies or in their little containers. And I don't make a big, as big of a mess as I did before. Um, so I'll finish that off with some white and I just thought these were fun colors to kind of go with my card. But you can see my background has all the colors. So this card is a little busy when you put the gift card on there, but I think it's just really fun. And when you see this glaze dry, oh my word, it is so amazing. But I needed to leave a little bit of a space because I have a cherry to add on the top and a cherry should be shiny too. So I brought back the glaze and coated the cherry as well. I had to kind of dab it on because everything was still wet. But here, I'll show you next exactly what this looks like all dry and you can see how fabulous it really turned out. Oh no, first I wanted to show you there are so many new sprinkles in this collection, all the colors. There's even black sprinkles and there's some sprinkle mixes as well. So I will have these linked for you in the description box below. You can go check them out because they're so much fun to go with all the new ice cream cones and cupcakes that Trinity put out in this latest release. So um, before I show you what it looks like dry, I actually decided wouldn't it be cool to fill in those open parts of the birthday with some glaze? So I went ahead and did that. And I love having that just little extra something on my card. Okay, now let's look at this when it's all dry and you can see that looks really cool. And it's just a really nice finishing touch. I've got a lot of texture and interest going on on this card. So before we're done, I wanted to take a scrap of that same pattern paper and put it on the inside so we have more sprinkles on there. And I wanted to show you a couple other things that you could do with this patterned paper because there's so many fun prints in it. You can take this ice cream cone die set and one of those ice cream papers and just die cut your scoop and then it looks like real ice cream. It's really cool. And this pattern I thought would be really good with the new popsicle die set. So I die cut out this piece. It kind of looks like watermelon popsicle, right? Yeah, it's really cool. Really cool paper, some amazing new dies. Um, I hope you'll check them out. And I hope also that you enjoyed my video today. I will be back again next Saturday with another video for you right here on the Trinity Stamps channel. But you can find more inspiration from Trinity Stamps on our Instagram and Facebook page too. I'll see you all very soon. Happy stamping. Bye.